Hi everyone, my name is Mason from Esri Canada Technical Support. This is a tutorial for you if you're looking to capture data offline with Collector for RTS with your RTS Enterprise environment. This is a typical scenario of your organization is required to send staff to collect data in an area where there might not be a cellular or internet connection. In this video, we will go through preparing your data for disconnected editing, publishing your data, preparing your web map to be taken offline, and syncing your data back to your Enterprise Geo database. This demo will assume that you already have an ArcGIS Enterprise deployment in place with Portal for ArcGIS and ArcGIS Server installed and federated, as well as an Enterprise Geo database ready for use. First, we'll go to ArcGIS Pro and create our new point feature class in our Enterprise Geo database. We'll disable Z value to keep it simple. And we'll add a text comment field. And we'll set the rest of the defaults and hit finish. Now we'll add our new feature class to our current map and give it a proper name. And we'll add a couple points to get started. Next, we'll be adding global IDs to our feature class. Adding global IDs is a necessary step for disconnected editing because they uniquely identify features within and across geodatabases. We'll also enable archiving, which allows the feature class to track changes in the data over time. Now we're ready to share our collection data layer. Right-click on the layer, go to sharing, and share as a web layer. From here we'll give it a summary and a tag. Enable feature access. Then we'll go to the configuration page, hit the pencil icon next to the feature, and we'll enable sync. Enabling sync allows for disconnected editing and synchronization. Now we're ready to analyze. With no errors and warnings, we can go ahead and publish. Now we can switch over to our portal and see our new feature layer. Before we make our web map, we'll need an Esri base map that we can take offline. There's a special base map group in ArcGIS Online dedicated to offline workflows. What we'll have to do is add one of these base maps to our portal as an item. We can go to item details, scroll to the bottom, and copy the URL. From here, we can add a new item from the web and paste the URL. We have to log in with our ArcGIS Online credentials. And save our credentials with the item so we don't have to log in every time. When you're ready, hit Add Item. Now we can see our base map item in our content page. And now we can add our feature layer to a new web map. And from here, we can add our base map item as a base map. Let's zoom into our data. And we can save our web map. Don't forget to share your map and your layers with your field staff. Open Collector on your mobile device and log in. Here you will see your saved web map. Because we made the necessary data and web map preparations, we have this new option to add an offline area. From here we can change the level of detail and zoom to the area that we want to download.
Now that your offline area is finished downloading, we can put our mobile device in airplane mode. Notice that we can still open the map and make edits. Add a point to the map. From here, we can go back to our offline area. Let's connect back to the network. When you're ready, let's hit sync. Let's switch back over to our web map and portal. Notice the new point. More importantly, we can switch back to ArcGIS Pro and see our data in our Enterprise Geo database. I hope this video was a helpful guide to getting started with disconnected editing when using Collector for ArcGIS and ArcGIS Enterprise. If this video was helpful, hit the like button and feel free to leave comments and suggestions below. If you want to see more Ezra Canada videos, hit the subscribe button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.